In a previous video, we introduced this flowchart that helps us think about what strategies to use when trying to determine a limit of a function as it approaches a point. What we're going to do in this video is now try to apply that in several example exercises. So the first question, they say, based on the process in the flowchart, let's try to find the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x for f of x is equal to this business. What are the steps that we should go through? And they have these various steps. You might say, well, what is A and B and C, D and A? Well, if you go back to the original flow chart, you see this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, et cetera, et cetera. So let's, let's just first try to substitute, see if we can get a value for f of three. If f of three works, then we are essentially done because this is not some strange exotic function. It seems like it's continuous if function around x equals three, if f of three exists, so let's try it out. So let me, so we're gonna have f of three is equal to the square root of, let's see, six minus five, two times three minus five, minus one over three, minus three. So in the numerator here, we get zero, because this is one minus one, so this is going to be equal to zero over zero. So the first thing that happens is we fall into the, we tried to evaluate it, we fell into indeterminate form. So the first step is going to be C. Now the next thing that I would do, because we have a radical expression here, is to see if I can take a conjugate so it's going to likely be, we're definitely gonna have C first, then we're going to try E, and frankly, that's the only choice that has that, but let's actually see if that actually works. C, E, B. So let me multiply this expression times a conjugate. So square root of two X minus five minus one over X minus three times square root of two X minus five plus one, it's the conjugate here, over square root of two x minus five plus one. And this is going to be equal to, see this numerator, square root of two x minus five squared, it's gonna be two x minus five, and then you're going to have my, negative, you have a minus one squared, which is gonna be minus one. All of that over x minus three times square root of two x minus five plus one. And see, let's see, this stuff up here, this is, you can rewrite as two x minus six, two x minus six, which is the same thing as two times x minus three. And so those cancel out nicely. And so let's see, this is going to be equal to two over square root of two x minus five plus one. Now let's try to evaluate this when x equals three. Well, if we do that, we're gonna get two over, so this is gonna be six minus five, the square root, which is one, plus one. So it's two over two, which is equal to one. So then we were able to evaluate it, and we actually got a value. So we feel pretty good that we're done. So we went from, we went from finding indeterminate form, taking the conjugate, and then being able to evaluate it. Let me just show that right over here. When we immediately tried to evaluate it, we got indeterminate form. We recognized that it was a radical, that it was a rational expression with a radical on top. And so we say, hey, let's multiply by the conjugate. We did that, and then after we were able to simplify it with the conjugate, we tried to evaluate it again, and we were able to get a real number. So we feel pretty good that that is going to be the limit.